All right, guys, how's it going? So today, what I want to show you was how to create layer masks in Procreate. Now, uh, a long time ago, not that long ago, maybe like a year ago, before they added the update, there were no layer masks, and you had to kind of do a bit of a workaround to get the same effect. And I made a video on that uh, when I very first started my YouTube channel. But now that they actually updated Procreate to use actual layer masks, like what you would find in Photoshop and other software, I decided to make a video that uh, shows you how to actually do it using the tools available. So um, we're gonna show you what a layer mask is, what you might use it for, and how to create one, how it works, and stuff like that. So we have this drawing here uh, of this uh, dinosaur creature. Let me make the background a little bit lighter so he stands out a little more. And um, what we're gonna do is create a layer mask of this base layer here. So I have his base shape on one layer, and then all of the uh, stuff on his back on a different layer, okay? So, and then the line art is on separate layers as well. So for the base shape, what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna tap on that. Well, first, yeah, we're gonna tap on that and select it. You can select it however you want, but you're gonna select that whole layer. And then I'm going to select mask. Okay, now we can let go of our selection. And as long as we are on that base shape layer, with that mask selected, then we cannot paint outside of the mask. Well, I should rephrase that. We're painting outside of the mask, but everything that's outside that shape is not going to show up. So what I mean by that, we'll paint this guy in really quick. So it looks like we've only painted inside the lines, but in reality, we have painted outside. You can see our base shape layer, the paints all over the place. But because as a mask, only the stuff inside that shape is showing up, okay? So those are grouped together. If you move one, it'll move both of them. All right, makes sense? So the mask itself, though, can be altered. So if we tap on the mask layer, you can see that it's basically white or black. If it's white, that means that the paint will show up there. And if it's black, that means it's masked out. So we can paint right onto it with our own brush to change how the mask functions. So uh, you can see now the orange that we painted is now getting masked over anywhere that I paint black in on the, on the mask, on the layer mask. So like, let's say for example, I want to paint out the whole neck and head area. If we look at the layer mask, you can see now the head is missing because we painted it out with black, which means that part is now getting masked. Okay, so we can go ahead and undo that. So you can do the whole mask by hand. You don't have to create it like I did. So let's go up to our base shape layer and we're going to create a mask for that. And you can see because we didn't make a selection first, the mask is just the entire layer, okay? So on that mask right now, if we go to our base shape and try and paint something, everything will show up because nothing is masked out, right? But let's say, we'll come back here, we're gonna get black, and we want to mask out, in particular, we wanna mask out, well let's do this first so we can see what we're doing. Come here to our base shape. We wanna mask out um, this gray. No, the bedroll, let's do just the bedroll. So let's say that for whatever reason you want to mask just this part out, you could do it by hand instead of doing a selection, or you could use a lasso tool and hand create a selection, or most of the time it'll probably just be selecting the whole layer. Now the reason you'd want to do this is because it makes it a lot easier to paint without worrying if you're going to go outside the lines of something. So now if we come down here to our base shape and we go to paint, the mask will cover everything We'll be able to paint everything except for that bedroll. That will be covered up by the mask. That makes sense? So, um, yeah, the reason you would use this is because it makes it a lot easier to paint without worrying about going outside the lines. You can make big gradients um, while keeping everything covered up. So, for example, on this base shape one, 
we can paint with a huge airbrush and get a really smooth transition since it's not really a gradient tool in Procreate and it will stay inside those lines, that outline. So those are the basics for you there. Um, that's how you would go about creating a layer mask and hopefully you learned something from it. If you uh, appreciate this, leave a like. Uh, it really helps me out. Subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already. You can be notified whenever I release new videos, which is every day. And uh, yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in the next one.